everybody. Uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. Uh, for those of you who don't yet know what that means, a targeted individual is somebody who's been uh, chosen through whatever secret means for uh, non-consensual human experimentation. And in our case, it's been human experimentation into coercive technology, nanotechnology, Morgellons, and mind control, MK Ultra style, electromagnetic supercomputer <laughs> mind control. Um, anyway, the, the reason I'm making this video today, uh, I don't have a crazy idea. Uh, I just wanted to tell the world that uh, it's, you know, six or seven in the morning, I've been up all night, I, I, I don't sleep anymore. Since this happened, I, I stopped sleeping. Uh, how that's done, I don't know, but so I have to take medication in order to sleep. I've taken it, I'm waiting to sleep. Um, and, uh, you know, I was laying there in bed with this high frequency ringing in my ears, this. <laughs> really a terrible, terrible sound. It's, it doesn't come from outside of your head, it comes from inside of your head. <laughs> and it seems that uh, when you're sleeping or drifting off to sleep, it gets louder. They turn it up louder because that's, I don't know whether that's the remote neural connection, you know, it's an artifact of the microwave connection or whatever, or if it's just actually voice to skull kind of technology with the, with the audio to your head that only you can hear with the, you know, 15k, 10k audio sine wave generator just jamming the little noise. But sometimes it sounds modulated as though there's actual data in that stream. Um, but regardless of what it sounds like, it's, it, it drives you insane. I mean, gives me a migraine headache. I've had a migraine headache that feels like somebody took a pencil and stuck it in my over and over again uh, most of the night. This morning the headache was on this side. Now the headache is... Oh, that really hurt actually. The headache is on this side. Um, they give me these migraine headaches all the time with this high frequency torture. And, um, and it feels as though, I don't know, it's the weirdest feeling. It feels as though somebody is manipulating your neurochemistry. Somebody is inhibiting certain neurotransmitters or causing other neurotransmitters to, you know, I don't know. It's a feeling as though, almost as though you would lose control of your body, but you're still in control of it, almost as though you would be shaking uncontrollably, but you're not. It's very, very unpleasant. It's like going into withdrawal symptoms. Uh, it's very weird. Um, this headache is horrible. I mean, these headaches are the kind of headaches where you just wish you had some opiate painkillers because you, you, you're going to throw up the pain so bad. Um, I'm gonna throw up the pain. Is that bad? Um, so basically, um, I'm being tortured, and um, th the thing that's interesting is there's this guy. He called me last night. We had a long talk. Very interesting guy, who's also claims to be a fellow torture victim, and he said, "Yeah, they." <laughs> The, uh, I stopped drinking and, and using drugs and then they, they turned down the torture and now they're telling me that if I exercise they won't hurt me as much and I said that's great man great it's good for you you know you're healthy and you know do what they say it's also training it's you know this is one of the things they're doing with this torture is like by hurting you badly and making you realize that they're in control 
they have technology that you have no way to most people can't even understand how this works uh, in fact a lot of people this is happening to probably don't even know that they're being tortured they just have these horrible health effects and there's weird things going on in their lives and nothing seems to be going right and strange noises and people beeping you know, it just it gets worse and worse and then you notice people following you and shit in your house is moved around and stolen and broken and cameras get broken and phones get broken and computers get broken and you end up getting fired from jobs and I mean it just it goes it piles up it goes on and meanwhile they're drugging you the whole time little by little little by little little by little and so the world is getting and you're sleep deprived they're sleep depriving you they're zapping you with these microwaves and uh, you know your life falls to shit because you're starting to get grumpy and angry and freaky and you know the progression is is uh, you end up one of those muttering yelling people homeless people that you see muttering and yelling to themselves some of them are not we're not crazy people to begin with they are victims of targeting um, this is my I, I know this for a fact in fact there was one guy who managed to get himself on 60 Minutes or, or some show, some news show about his claim that the FBI was using electromagnetic weapons to test on him and, and he was talking about it. this homeless guy that lived in the Port Authority or, or Penn Station or someplace. And, at the end of the news broadcast they said oh and by the way the so-and-so guy that we interviewed uh, they found him dead uh, in the river uh, you know so <laughs> it just goes to show you man I, I thoroughly expect to be dead I mean because think about it this way they were drugging me they were chasing me they had crazy alien DNA objects shooting out of my head and my skin and this is insane things happening and everybody that walked by me would say we're gonna kill you we're gonna set you on fire we're gonna blow you up and they would say all these things that we you know they'd try to see if I would run screaming naked into the streets and I don't know man the truth of the matter is the the, 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 the main uh, this has been going on in my life for many years they have they fucked up my life I had a, I had a I was one of these really ambitious dedicated uh, people that's extremely talented at what they do and can you know autodidactic and da -da 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 -da, had my own recording studio and was beginning to make it in the business but I wasn't a uh, evil illuminatist I guess I don't know what happened man somebody decided I wasn't gonna make it in the world and they decided to destroy everything that I had everything that I loved and, and me <laughs> and it worked it took me years to, you know I was like what's going on what happened why did, I didn't change the world suddenly changed you know nothing went right and then they turned up the heat, and I moved into this crazy place. They were already doing this to me in Midtown. And they just, 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 you know, they turned it to 12, man. It was crazy. Um, anyway, I'm going to go pretend to try to sleep again. And just wanted to let the world know that Timothy Trespass, a uh, targeted individual, is holding on for dear life through this horrendous, treatment that most people don't even believe exists uh, as I watch myself look more and more like one of those crazy homeless people and, oh by the way we have to find a new place to live our landlord just gave us a 30 day get out uh, we don't like you anymore notice and so uh, we're trying to get out anyway god bless you all good luck hope to talk to you again I'm gonna upload this now